Hey, how's it going guys? In my last Sysraptor video, I showed how to install Sysraptors, but I didn't do a good enough job showing you how to use it. Um, I can't recommend Sysraptors enough. Uh, this is not a paid video, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use it. So uh, I'm going to go back. So um, when you want to create a new project, you just go to projects, you press create new. In the last video, I showed how to create the uh, or import the OSCP template. So you go ahead and put your name, OSCP report. And then you can click on whatever design that you want. As you can see, there's ones for Hack the Box Academy as well. We're going to go ahead and click on OSCP exam report and press create. And now in the student section, you go ahead and fill this information in, put your last name, and then in the OSID, you put your OSID that's provided to you by Offsec, and then you put your email address. Then you have the title here, and you can put the date. And in here, everything is pretty much Markdown. So if you know Markdown, this is going to be pretty simple for you. So. As you can see, there's Markdown over here, right? But over here, it's presenting the information as it would as it would be presented on the report document. And you can also change the view. So you can change it to Markdown or Preview. And so pretty much right here, whatever information you put in in the student information, it will automatically fill in these variables for you. And over here, wherever you see to do, that's where the template recommends that you edit that information. So all of this information is uh, pre-built into here. And all of this comes from the official OFSEC uh, report template. So if you pull up the official OFSEC report template, you will see that the information, like in the... Uh, objective and the requirements and a high level summary all of this information matches what's in here so a lot of this stuff you don't really have to edit all you have to do is just add more information based off of what happened during your exam and uh whatever you need to change but like the basic stuff is already here so you just have to tailor it a little bit and add some some tweaks. Uh, now, if we go to methodologies, we see that um, you will also need to change the IP addresses. And uh, right here, I had some trouble adding the uh, the bullet points back. So let's go ahead and do that. One six two blah blah. So I tried to add the stars here, and it didn't work for me. It just put stars on the other side, as you can see. Um, so you can just use the things up here, just like Word. And it'll automatically add those bullet points for you. And wherever you already edited, you can just go right here and remove that to do. And uh, this is just there to help you keep track of what you edited in your report. So, like I said earlier, just go through this, uh, go through this template and just change whatever information that you need to do. Most of it's already there. Um, also, change this. So I didn't hack 50 systems. There's only six systems on the OSCP exam. So you can say six out of the six systems. And you can also add an appendix. So what I did was just add some uh, some URLs for references. And then for the findings, you just press the plus down here. And you can select the template if any of these matches your finding. And for me, it doesn't. So just press create empty finding. And then you put the target name. Uh, so we can put Billy Boss. And then you put the IP address and you can also add a CVS score. Um, the CVS scores 
or the CVSS scores that I added were based on the exploits that I found. So I would just Google the uh, the CVE number and based off of that CVE number, I would go ahead and add that CVSS score. All right, so for this vulnerability, we find the CVE number and then we search CVE, search the CVE number, come down here to National Institute of Standards. And then we see this CVSS version 3.x, click on it and let's click on 8.8. .8. There it is. So now here we see this information and all we have to do is match what's right here in this base score metrics section um, to here. So we go to CVSS editor and we just fill in the same information that's displayed right here. And as you can see, it, it automatically populates the, uh, the score for you and then press the check, uh, right here for some systems. I didn't need a UDP scan. So I just get rid of that. And then I put the, whatever ports I had open. So 21, 88, uh, four for three, 80, blah, blah, blah. And you also need to get rid of these to do's wherever you already edited the information. Um, and then right here, I would just put whatever MAP scan I used. And since it's marked down, you, uh, you get to use these little tick marks to import your code. So if you look on the right side, you can see it's in a little text box. It's, uh, it's slightly gray. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but it puts your code into a text box. And let me copy my MF scan. And for right here, I would put a screenshot of the MF scan. And also I would put a code box. So for a code box, you would need three of these uh, backticks. And then you can just put paste in your MF scan right there. And as you can see, it's like grayed out. And you can also use this to insert a code box. Now I used uh, notion for my, for my exam notes. So when you're copying images from notion, what you want to do is you want to click on the image. So double click on the image, then right click, press copy image. And that way it makes it easier for you to paste in your images. So as you, as you can see, it uh, puts the image over here, but over here it's a, uh, it's an image link since it's in markdown and down here, just make sure that you put your proof screenshot, uh, with the, with the flag of the system and the who am I scan. So like here, you type the proof IP config to show the IP address and, um, uh, and the flag and also just read over the OSCP exam guide and the reporting guide just to make sure that you have everything that you need within the report. And for here on the sample report, they didn't really put a lot of information here. So they just explained and gave a high overview of the vulnerability. And they also put how to fix the vulnerability. So for that, you just pretty much just use Google and Google will tell you um, you know, there, there are mediation efforts for that particular vulnerability and for the steps to reproduce the attack, uh, just put everything from your notes right there. I can just copy this, but I would put it in word form. So plain English. So FTP anonymous login doesn't work. And SMP no login and in for Linux didn't help. But stuff like this, you don't really need. All you really need to explain is how to reproduce the attack. So if you've ever looked at a offsec official walkthrough um, after you completed Proving Grounds machine, and you can download the walkthrough, the report pretty much just has to look like that. And then like uh, whatever screenshots you have, just paste them in there. 
right? And for the proof of concept code, if there was any code that I changed, that's where I would put that code. And once you're done, you can go ahead and press publish, but you wanna make sure you add your other pages. So whatever other findings and machines that you have, so you should have about six of these sections. To keep you organized, you can go right here on the status option and press finished. And that will give you uh, two check marks just to, just for your sake, um, so that you know what you already edited. And once you're finished, just go to publish and it will start generating your report. And you also want to change the name of the report to match uh, what's required by Offsec. So like right here, uh, just copy this. So this is the official format that you need for Offsec. And then you just put your OSI ID right there. All right, so once it's finished loading, you can see that your report is pretty much generated and you can just go ahead and proofread over all of this. Um, and as you can see, it populates the CVSS scores for you and the severities. Um, and just go through it and make sure none of these to-dos are there and just proofread everything. And this is the, uh, the text box that I was talking about. And it does a really good job at formatting everything and resizing everything. This is the screenshot, another screenshot. And just, just make sure everything is correct before you go ahead and download it. And then just download it. And after you download it, just follow these steps. Um, use 7-zip to archive your file and uh, do sudo mv 5 sum Uh, thanks for watching.